Hello everyone, I'm Felipe Perez from Paris Saclay University in France and Federal University of Tajuba in Brazil, and I'm going to present the paper Adaptive Variable Synthetic Inertia from a Virtual Synchronous Machine Providing Ancillary Services for an AC Microgrid. The other authors of this paper are Gil Neidan, Françoise Laminabi Lagarrig, Paulo Ribeiro, and Renato Monaro. We may start introducing the power system issues. So, uh, the modernization of the power network and the constant growth of the low demand create new challenges for the operation and control of the power systems. The first big challenge is the high penetration of renewable that has brought some impacts to the system uh, due to the intermittent nature of this kind of energy and also uh, the reduction of inertia related to the power electronic deficits that uh, represents a, a significant portion of uh, the generation of a power system now. So it may result in frequency problems and poor inertial response. The power electronic deficits, they have a fast control response, but they also bring harmonic issues interactions between controllers and a weak overload capacity. So in this contest, uh, the standard control techniques are not able to keep the system in the desired margins of stability. So the transformation of a high inertia system to a low inertia system is based on the power electronic deficits in introduced in this grid. In this way, the paper contribution is to propose a virtual synchronous machine using adaptive virtual inertia approach to improve the frequency stability and to reduce the power oscillations in the microgrid. The variable inertia scheme is incorporated in the voltage source converter of the microgrid, which is composed by diesel generator and loads. The DC side of the grid is able to provide ancillary services to the AC part of the grid. Then, the stability analysis is conducted to prove the asymptotic stability of the adaptive virtual inertia approach for power converter applications. A comparison with the classical drop control is made here to show the improvement of the virtual inertia to frequency stability and to show the inertial support given by this controller. Here we provide the definition of virtual inertia, which consists in emulate in a power electronic deficit the energy stored in the rotating masses of a synchronous generator, such that the power converter is able to have a natural frequency response. So the converter will act as a synchronous machine. Uh, the virtual inertia is based in the swing equation of a synchronous machine. And this allows to provide to the system ancillary services like frequency and voltage regulation, inertial response, reactive power supply, and we may increase the power stability of the system. The improvement are also in frequency nadir and frequency rockoff. Here we can see in, the, in this figure that uh, the improvement of the inertia response when we are using virtual inertia in uh, power electronic based converters. In green, we clearly see the reduction of frequency nadir when using virtual inertia. The proposed virtual inertia is based on the swing equation of a traditional synchronous machine given by the inertia acceleration, which is represented by the power balance of the system and a dumping factor. This equation brings us an important parameter, which is the inertia coefficient related to the moment of inertia also the grid frequency reference and the nominal capacity power of the converter. 
The virtual single equation is then implemented in the VSC of the proposed microgrid, and we end up with the configuration of our microgrid. The DC side of the microgrid is connected to the AC side by a voltage source converter, where a LC filter is used to reduce harmonics. Uh, the AC microgrid is composed by diesel generators and loads, where the point of common coupling is the link between the LC filter of the converter and the line impedance of the AC microgrid. From the microgrid scheme, we may obtain the state space model of the system, which is given by the current and voltage using park transformation. Uh, so we have the ICD, ICQ, VCD, and VCQ voltages, and also uh, the states are the frequency of the grid and the phase angle of the system. So based on this, we choose our control output as the grid frequency and the voltage amplitude given by VCD. And the modulation indexes uh, MD and MQ are the control inputs. The reference of the output control variables can be calculated use DROOP control strategy, where the frequency DROOP creates a relation between active power and the grid frequency, and the voltage DROOP creates a relation between the voltage amplitude and the reactive power. In this case, the modulation indexes are transformed into phasor signals with amplitude and phase to directly generate the voltage reference for the PWM. Therefore, the derivative of the inertia coefficient is given as follows. The idea here is to vary the inertia in transients according to the system condition. We can see in the figure when the frequency is increasing, a large inertia can reduce the frequency deviation, and when the frequency is recovering, going back to the equilibrium point, the small inertia can help to increase the speed of convergence. This idea can be summarized in this table, where when we have some signs for frequency deviation and its derivative, the machine is in acceleration process, which means that the angular speed is deviating from the original value. Therefore, the inertia should increase to minimize frequency deviation. And when we have different signs of frequency deviation and its derivative, the machine is in decelerating process. So uh, when the inertia is decreased, we may allow to return faster to the new equilibrium point. To formalize this idea, we can conduct a stability analysis where the swing equation is rewritten. Uh, here, delta is the power angle difference between the diesel generator and the VSC. P max sin delta is the maximum available power. So, using this single equation, we can propose a Lyapunov function where we multiply this, the swing equation by omega tilde, and then we integrate them and we result with the proposed Lyapunov equation. The Lyapunov is based on the energy function of the system. Therefore, the time derivative of the Lyapunov candidate can be obtained as a partial derivative of uh, the kinetic energy and the potential energy of the system. So considering a time varying inertia coefficient, the result of the time derivative of the Lyapunov candidate will depend on the time derivative of the inertia coefficient. The expression is written as follows, where we can see that inside a given operation where the frequency and the phase angle is limited and for Km chosen is small enough, we may obtain a negative semi-definite function, given as follows. So using LaSalle theorem, we may conclude that the system is asymptotically 
stable toward its equilibrium point. Simulation results shows the performance of the proposed controller where large load variations were considered in simulations, up to 50% of the total load to analyze the response of the control under large disturbances. So we can see the active and reactive power profile from the VSC converter injecting the right amount of power to the AC grid. Also, we can see the voltage amplitude on the PCC, which results in a good behavior of control. The grid frequency and the virtual angular speed is presented in the fourth figure, where we can see that they are following the reference. Also, the inertia coefficient behavior, where we can see the variation in transients, and the zoom to show the frequency Hockoff and frequency deviation is depicted to emphasize the performance of the control. Next, the comparison with the drop control and the standard PI controller are developed to be compared with the proposed control. And in the figuring of the frequency, we can see that uh, the traditional drop controller and the PI controller has more oscillation in frequency and the virtual inertia approach has a smaller frequency deviation and better inertial support. Uh, to better understand the behavior of the proposed controller, different values of Km coefficient are simulated to analyze the response of the adaptive inertia controller. Here we can see that as we increase the Km coefficient, the frequency nadir and the frequency deviation are smaller, but the time response is bigger. So when we reduce the Km coefficient, we have a faster response, but the deviation of frequency and the frequency nadir is worse. So we can adjust the Km coefficient according to the operation margins of the system following the grid requirements. In conclusions, we could design a control strategy for power sharing between uh, grids composed of power converters and we improve the frequency stability of the system based on an uh, adaptive virtual inertia approach for microgrids or weak grids. We're able to provide ancillary services. Also, the virtual synchronous machine is created inserting the swing equation of the voltage source converter that supply power to the AC grid from the DC side of the microgrid. The adaptive virtual inertia improves the frequency response and is able to provide inertial support to this grid. The stability analysis is conducted to prove the asymptotic stability of the virtual inertia approach in power converter applications. And the comparison with the traditional drop control strategy is developed in simulations and highlight the improved performance of the proposed controller. So uh, that's it. I would like to Thank you, everybody, and I'm open for questions. Thank you.